to the Black and Gold News. I'm Christina Soto. And I'm Sydney Farrell. The KHS UIL team won the district championship March 19th through the 21st in Crandall. The team dominated in many events, winning team championships in journalism, literary criticism, accounting, current events, and science. UIL coordinator Patty Mitchell was thrilled with the team's success. Here is an interview with some of the members of the literary criticism team. job this year, Christina. Y'all check out some of our other winners. on March 22nd at the Sheraton Hotel in Dallas. Prom Key and Queen were Gunnar Madison and Natalia Monreal. Students had a great time. Take a look for yourself. Some teachers took a trip to Italy and Greece. Here are some of their favorite parts of their trip. My absolute favorite part on this trip was when we visited the Vatican City and we walked through the Sistine Chapel. And as we're walking through the Sistine Chapel, a priest came out and he collected the group and he gave us a blessing. He said a prayer with us and he gave us a blessing. And that, it just happened. It wasn't something planned. It's not something they just do. He just happened to come out the time we were there. And it was just very, um, you know, it, it, was a, it was very moving. It was a very touching moment. Whether you're Catholic or not, to be in the Sistine Chapel, to have an actual priest who is at the Sistine Chapel come out and give everyone a blessing and a prayer. And he even offered if somebody needed a personal blessing or if they wanted to confess that he would stay and people could come to him to confess. That, by far, was my most favorite part of the trip and the food. Part favorite of the trip to um, Italy and Greece was Pompeii. Um, I learned a lot about the culture there and I was surprised at how far away the volcano was <laughs> I always thought it was right there. And did you know that um, prostitution was legal in Pompeii? I didn't know that. So we actually got to go to a brothel and see the actual pictures up at the top of the women that worked there. Oh so that was really interesting. My, I think the favorite part of the whole entire trip was going to Rome, Italy. Um, being a theater major, um, being able to walk where um, Apollo's um, temple uh, Zeus and Athena, all of that was absolutely incredible. Um, seeing the theaters uh, where actually they performed, that was just amazing. Um, the got to see the, uh, when we went to Greece, we got to see the Vatican. Unbelievable to see what um, all of those famous people we've read about during, all during our ages, even now, when you actually get to put foot on ground and walk the path. It really kind of opened your eyes in a different, and looked at things in a different way. So the whole trip was an experience of a lifetime. 
uh, I may get to a bank, I may not. But if I don't, it fulfilled one of my uh, one of my deals on my bucket list. I've got one more, which is just key this press helps. Hey Sydney, we're in the middle of spring sports. I know, Christina, let's check out some baseball and softball with Pearl and Brooke. The varsity boys baseball team is currently two and two. The boys suffered a tough loss against Emory Reigns on Friday. Coach McMahon says the boys are hitting really well, forcing mistakes on the other team because of our speed. And except for an inning here and there, our defense is great. Now here's an interview with a few of the players and Mr. Campbell. How do you feel about this season? I feel like we can go pretty far in the playoffs if we really put our minds to it. Let's Who deserves MVP? Oh, uh, that's uh, easy. Marshall White right here. Uh, he's the backbone to our team. How do you feel about our just baseball team? Thanks, they're off. The Lady Lions district record is 3-2. and two. On Friday night, the varsity team shut out Emory Reigns 4-0, putting them in third place in the district. Coach Corey Williams says our defense is very strong right now and our offense is being led by seniors Hunter Allen, Caitlin Cox, and sophomore Kendall Blizzard. The main goal of all of our projects that we do throughout the year is to basically take what we've been learning in the classroom in a particular subject and then do some type of project that goes along with it so that the kids can get some idea of some practical applications of it. For example, the last project we did was on thermodynamics and we tried to come up with a really good project for that and actually came up with a fairly easy one, which was the steamboat project. The kids had to build their own steamboat. They had to go like a, a certain distance uh, along a tabletop water track uh, in a certain amount of time. And they did a really a pretty good job on uh, those projects. Some of the future projects that we're looking at, we're still looking at doing the trebuchet project, which um, is basically kind of a mini bowl type catapult with a sling. Uh, also the bridge build project, uh, which will probably be what we're going to be doing this six weeks. Uh, still need to finalize what materials we want to use and things of that nature. But uh, the goal is to take whatever subject it is we're working on and try to apply it. One of the things we might also do is the, um, the electronics project. There's always like build your own types of electronic circuits or your own type of house that's all wired up so that you can learn how wiring is actually done. Sparknotes gives you study guides and discussion forums on various works like Shakespeare and The Great Gatsby. My homework helps students with their school life. It can track classes, assignments, and tests. Now you'll never have a late assignment again. Study Blue is a free study service that offers flashcards, quizzing, tracking, for study session, progress, and more. Kindle is an awesome app that allows you to read thousands of books online, all from your mobile device. Dropbox is a free service that allows you to bring your photos, documents, and videos everywhere. You'll never have to email yourself a file again. And then we're also asked generalized questions that... Three. Today we competed in literary criticism and we got third... No, we got first place team for the... Go. How do you feel about this season? <laughs> um, he's laughing. Yes, I know. <laughs> wow, baby, that's so sweet. I feel like we could do pretty good. Go pretty far in playoffs. Put our mind to it. <laughs> that one. We take. Hi, I'm Cindy Farrell. <laughs> I'm Haley. I'm Brooke. <laughs> Who am I? Christina! <laughs> we are here with your black is your gold. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to talk about. 
Hi, I am Sydney Farrell. She's Sydney Farrell. Oh, yeah. She's Sydney Farrell. <laughs> Hey Sydney, we're in the middle of spring sports. I know, Christina, let's check out some baseball and softball with Pearl and Brooke.